friends, all right? I, re I reached out to you. I don't know what video you chose. Hopefully it won't disappoint. Introduce your video, what, what did you choose? I believe uh, I chose the, uh, the Westbrook uh, video where um, he used his left hand to dunk on um, one of the uh, Rockets um, you know, players. And uh, it was a you know, clutch shot as well. Right? Why did you choose this video? That's probably a good question. Well, the reason I chose this video is uh, you know, there's a lot of intensity. At the same time, you know, he's uh, on his stride right now. He's hitting um, triple doubles, like averaging triple doubles each game. And uh, pretty much uh, that, you know, that play pretty much uh, embodies what he's doing right now. Mm, that's true. The West Beast. Can't wait to see it. Let's look at it. 103, 100, clutch. So, a rocket's up. Rockets up. Oh, oh my! Oh no, no! Thunder. That was the that was the that was the clutch. For well, a game-winning shot, it's usually a layup or a yeah, shot. <laughs> yeah, it was a clutch shot. Yeah, you like think of a game-winning shot, it's a yeah. jumper. No, it's not. It's not a game-winning shot. I guess for Westbrook, it's just yeah. you know. A let's see that again. Let's see. Let's let's loop that. Look, yo, he was feeling himself. Yeah. And I believe they were down this uh, the whole time in this game. Oh, they so, were down? Yeah, they were down. Let's slow that down. Exhibit eight. Ah! Man, that, that, that's that, his that left was, hand, too. That was ridiculous. It looked like he was going to go for hand. the left hand layup. Yeah. Man just slammed it on him. Left hand dunk. Let's see that again. It's too quick. Ah. Uh, he fell down, but listen. I'm getting back up. I know I did something nice. I mean, it's like a Rockets defense. It doesn't say much, but it's still Capella. Capella is a, a pretty good shot blocker. Yeah. But he just kept on rising, man. The fellow was going down now. By the time Westbrook was still going up in that dunk. Yeah, he's really mad at the rim for some reason. <laughs> he's always mad at the rim. That's kind of what he's good at. Someone check the rim if it's hurt, yo. Check the rim. A rim must have done something bad to him when he was 30 little. points, 7 and 9. Too. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Solid. <laughs> so, why did you choose that again? Uh, like, I, uh, like I said, um, you know, it embodies uh, what he's doing right now. Really aggressive, and uh, shows what he's capable of. And um, I mean, a lot of people doubted that team right now. And right now, they're they're winning a lot of games, which people didn't expect. Mm. Who's been uh, your favorite player so far this season? In terms of you know, you being a fan of NBA, in terms of you watching. Uh, I'd say right now, you know, uh, technically it would be Russell Westbrook because uh, it's really rare right now where um, a superstar is on. Uh, a team, uh, like where, you know, like let's say LeBron or Curry, they're all in super teams, right? And um, Westbrook is, he's doing it all yeah. by himself. Westbrook is Superman. Yeah, I'm wishing <laughs> it like, goes back to team. like, Superman. you know, 10 years ago, um, where Vince Carter was the, the superstar, Tracy McGrady was a superstar for, you know, Magic, Kobe and Shaq. It was all divided. Now it's they're all into one team, right? So. Well, it's breaking the Kobe's record in terms of usage rate right now. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But Enlighten us, Marky <laughs> Mark, Mr. Fantasy, it's, Mr. Guru. It's, usage it's rate. Just in terms of how, how much they're using a player in terms of every possession. And it's basically in Thunder's offense, it runs literally through him, through pick and roll. So whether it's through um, his isolation moves and isolation plays, it's literally running through him. And I feel like without him, there's no offense running through OKC right now. So what happens if Westbrook gets injured? What's going to happen? That's a good question. Um, they currently don't have a backup point guard right now. Like Oladipo can play point. But I feel like it's them. They have a pace right now to win a 50 win. And without Westbrook, I don't think they come even close to that. So. Funny how you also talk about Victor Oladipo. Didn't Oladipo have a crazy dunk as oh, well? Oh my God, you guys should see it. It, it, it felt like a Dominus, uh, Dominic Wilkins kind of like, you know, reminiscing of that. Oh, he just kind of went sideways. It wasn't Dwight too, that's kind of nasty. I think so there was that's a, a good comparison video with the Dominic yeah. Wilkins dunk too, right? Yeah, he literally yeah. kind of just like pump it up one side and just like bend it one side. And, just, it was, um, and it was on Dwight Howard too. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard. Yeah. Friends, um, how would you say your game is on ice? We also see you on the court a lot of times. Yeah. Marky Mark and I, we play with you a lot. Hoop Dome, shout out to Hoop Dome. But who do you play, who do you play like and what, what do you try to do when you're on the court? Oh, what do you resemble your game like <laughs> yeah. when you're, you know, every one of us do um, it, so. I mean, I believe uh, uh, I'm a three-point shooter. So uh, that's really I base my game on. Um, as by the time you get old, um, <laughs> you get slower. <laughs> Right, you really can't drive as much, and like you know, uh, yeah. Last week's guest, Owen, you know, he's really fast, and you know, uh, he's. You young. played Owen before? Oh yeah, Owen's amazing, man. Mm. Um, 
yeah so uh as soon as you get older you know you get um uh, slower and um you just try to be uh safe out there in the court because you got a lot of responsibilities you got work and you know, all the things you do. so you don't want to get the, that's the real, real life you know so real all life. is life yeah. but you gotta also remember about real life you gotta remember so about yeah. work. even though you enjoy the game you gotta be smart about it so that's mm -hmm. how i became a shooter i used to drive a lot you know to the basket but then uh as time passed on um you know i thought hey uh if I shoot the ball, if I'm able to do that, you know, score from far, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd be safe and mm -hmm. won't get injured. Uh, the, the cool thing is you mentioned about you your shooting skill. I know Mega City. I know they also they right. also um, recognize shout you. Shout out to Mega City. And shout out to Mega City. Right. Um, they recognize you as a shooter. They recognize you as a three point shooter. So I'm sure if there's people watching, a lot of kids also watch our show. What can you say about shooting? I guess you said that you evolved into a shooter. Right. Well, yes, what makes yeah. a good shooter or what have you learned about learning how to shoot the ball? Uh, I would say, um, you know, to be a better shooter, it's all about the mechanics. Uh, right now, I follow this guy on Instagram. He's, uh, his name is called um, Ethel Shooter. So um, he's showing uh, a lot of, uh, you know, players or, you know, ex-players, you know, how to shoot the basketball. All you got to do is, you know, pretty much uh, have the ball, you know, lower down. Use your, you got to use your legs a lot and um, you got to use your... Uh, arm throughout and uh you know you just gotta do a follow-through so it's it's all about practice just just how it is in you know basketball or anything in life mm, absolutely now if you were to say out of 10 shots i put you on a spot 10 okay. shots what's your percentage every shooter should know right what the well, it depends is. on the distance let's say a three-pointer yeah a three-pointer yeah let's say you're um, <laughs> yeah, three-pointer anywhere okay. in a three-point line i say uh you know um if i'm feeling it uh i'd say about Eight, eight out of eight ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah, eight out of ten. Woohoo! Mega City, maybe you're right. Maybe Mega City called sharpshooter over yeah. here. Yeah.